issue with camping up here at Glen Canyon on the top of the Valley of the Gods. Jesus, this is so... It's just this part that's so rippled. It's that um, up top here, which is like 2,000 feet up, it gets colder. And sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. But it's either I camp here or I camp back at the Valley of the Gods. This is the plateau after the, the Valley of the Gods. So we're on top right now. It, we've been riding it for about 20 miles from that great uh, view. I'm kind of curious what's over here. So let's check this area out. Boating passable when it's wet. That was the same warning that we had at the Valley of the Gods. So let's check it out. This is kind of like one of those areas that ends. So don't crash here. Yeah, I don't know if this leads to any place fun, but it, by the way, look, trees. That's one thing you get when you get up here is some trees, which is pretty good. Interesting area, Cigarette Springs Road, BLM Monticello. It's a fee area. I think you have to pay $2 to be here. So it says, imagine villages of people living here without the conveniences we have today. Although it's hard to picture now, people lived in a farm and farmed this area for thousands of years. The ancestral Puebleans grew corn and squash on the mesa tops, adding beans by AD 600. They lived in a surface pit houses, later in jackal stick and mud villages. In the 1100s, the numerous canyons and cliffs provided defensible homes, ceremonial sites, and storage areas. Oh man, this area is getting way too sandy. Let's see if I can get up this thing. That's a very difficult place to ride here. Oh man, this bike does not like this terrain. This is fairly steep, but it's like very deep sand. Going down is actually a little bit harder. Deep sand sort of riding kind of sucks on big bikes. I've told you guys this over and over. Avoid it. If you guys look at my hands moving around, it's just like an automatic correcting of the uh, the road surface. It's not a very, I guess you kind of get used to it. I think if I like lived around this area, came here a lot on the bike, but the chances of falling are very high. And if you fall and it kind of like pins your leg, not a good time. Remember, just over this valley, of, over this mountain, it's a desert and there's nothing there. So right here is kind of lush compared to there. That's why I think that area, it's very much like what Mesa Verde is, the national park. It's very lush on top of there because somehow it's like a micro, micro like temperature, micro uh, climate up there. I bet it's the same thing here. That's why the natives at 600, um, 600 AD were able to farm it up here. I mean, this is just an incredible treat you know, as a motorcyclist. I guess if it was asphalt, it might be a little bit nicer for most cars. But I, you know, this is perfectly fine. It's kind of crushed gravel. It's very, very hard. There's very little sand. Beautiful man. This would make a great photo op and video for like bike reviews, car reviews, just to bring cars here. Usually I see them shooting out to California because I guess that's where the journalists and This has been a great trip. Squids, you gotta go out there, man. Stop riding around your town. See the world. Step into unfamiliar territories. That's how you're gonna grow. Not by doing wheelies on the interstates. Be out here, man. Just come out here. Do some wheelies over here. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.